the cost of our freedom, things that we take for granted here in the United States come at a very high cost. It comes at the cost of human life. The lives of those fallen soldiers and all who have served were honored at the Gene Vance Jr. Day Tribute to Heroes wreath laying ceremony. All the men and women that have been in the war on terror since 9-11 and those that have fallen and those that are returning, the legacy of those men and the ones that have been catastrophically injured in the line of duty. That's the very most important thing that we should remember, the service of the men and women of America. In 2002, Gene Arden Vance Jr. became the first West Virginia National Guardsman to be killed in the line of duty since World War II. Before he died, Vance put the lives of his fellow soldiers before his own. Gene saved the lives of 18 Afghani soldiers and two American soldiers in the line of duty. We find ourselves in various assignments, uh, but we always find ways to come back and reconnect. And this is just a great opportunity for us to, to get back together and remember Gene and, and remember our previous assignments and uh, working together. Plans were also announced for the Gene Arden Vance Jr. Memorial to the catastrophically injured, which will serve as a constant remembrance and symbol of courage, hope and honor. I think this day is a great remembrance for all of us to step back and think about all those who have served and given their lives for our freedoms that we have today. The military serves for the defense of this country and we just like to be remembered uh, for the sacrifices that we have to make, whether it's leaving our family or unfortunately uh, dying in defense of, of this country. In Morgantown, I'm Katherine Guyon for 12 News.